ah, what do you ah, take me for? Ah, what a whore. Do you ta- a slut. Uh, an ex-prostitute. I don't know. You talk about that sometimes, right? Could you just try to leave? Oh, hello! Hi, welcome to. Do you take me for a pimp? No. Do why? you take me for your dad? No. Then can you explain how you have the odd? Oh, why are you yelling at me? Why are we? Why are you yelling at me? What I do this time? Bring one of your wines. I have three wines that you know. My mm-hmm. hundred dollar bottle of wines. Yes. You want me to bring them to you? Oh, I didn't even notice you brought me a fucking nineteen crimes. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> it's great. I fucking love country. Yes, crimes. I said. And now I'm not bringing you the hundred dollar bottle. I'm gonna now have to go to the store. Meanwhile, this is somebody two point five million subscribers. I ha- I have to go get the wine. Exactly. I have two point five million <laughs> subscribers. Why would I move a fucking finger for some fucking wine? I had to go to a barn. <laughs> Mac, what if someone That's saw great. me? What if someone thought it was? Oh yeah. <laughs> so I got us wine. Yes, yes. Nineteen crimes is the best um, cheap wine you can get. I will tell that to the girls right now. To the girls out there in the world, if you want some cheap wine that it's, it's delicious that will impress your friends, I've never t- tried it before. Nineteen crimes. It's like what only like fourteen dollars, seven dollars. Yeah, well, yeah. it's price. like really cheap. It's really cheap, really good. It's, you know, it's for the a best cheap, cheap wine, the best cheap red you can get. I think is nineteen. Mm. Christmas or Black History Month? Right now, answer, answer it. Answer it right now. Christmas or Black History Month? Okay, so... On no. The, on, too, too long, braces. On the month no, of Beyonce's no. release. Yes. You yes. attack me with that question. Don't deflect. Don't deflect. I'm deflecting. You're deflecting. Cause this you, is politics now. Christmas or Black History Month? America. That's even worse. <laughs> That's even, that was the worst answer. Um, well, uh, I say... Uh, not even Christmas anymore because no one even gives me gifts anymore, bitch. Oh, so now you're selfish. I like Christmas because it's fun and it's cute and all that stuff. So Mac I like think- Black History Month because I get paid. So racism. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I would say that the correct answer would be Christmas only because it's technically one day a year when honestly there shouldn't just be a month for black history it should be celebrated all year round it shouldn't even have a specific month okay calm down look at that that's how you answer that okay calm that's down. how when you're not racist okay miss universe that's how when yes. world peace world peace world, bitch. <laughs> world. <laughs> speaking of miss universe isn't there there's, have you been watching big brother there's a pageant queen on there no no and can i it's actually decent this season i bet it is the uh, twitter has ruined oh get off of twitter i hate it don't look I'm, at Twitter. No. I don't look at Twitter half the time anymore. Being part of reality TV. No, you don't know what that's part. <laughs> like, with all your subscribers. You can't just get cat. <laughs> you just touched me. Now I'm going. Uh, Monkey box. There we'll is. talk. We'll get there. We'll get there. We but, haven't gotten there yet. I'm sorry. But being on reality TV is ruined. Like, I used to love Big Brother. But now I can't watch, mm-hmm. like, Survivor and Big Brother because, like, I know them. <laughs> like, and a lot of them, them are, like, a lot of them. Like, Davon was a fabulous. Loved Davon. Mm-hmm. Some of the other ones, don't ever really need to talk to ever again in my life. <laughs> Especially the people that are just obsessed about the challenge. I cannot, I cannot explain to you guys how in yes. like... And now CBS has their own version of the challenge, yes. specifically for CBS people. Yeah. So now it's going to get worse. <laughs> yeah. And have any other numbers or anything like that changed? No. <laughs> like, being so desperate to get on the challenge is, like, embarrassing. Mm. It's embarrassing. And everyone on Twitter thinks that's all there is. They're like, he wishes he was on the challenge. No. No. No one wants to do that I don't even know the challenge is a big thing anymore. I only watched, like, one season of it in my exactly. entire life. Exactly. <laughs> and Twitter's just annoying. Like, the, the, I'm, I've started, like, just muting everyone. I don't want to. I, I don't want to talk to anybody of the in the reality TV stands, Cause especially if they love Big Brother and the challenge. I'm like, shut up, shut up. T T T. I tweet sometimes about Big Brother. I get into it. Yeah, you're I'm muted. Really, I love Big Brother. You muted me. Imagine. <laughs> 
I mean, you did I tweet. Be surprised. I mean, there's like nine tweets about you being gay. <laughs> Yeah, there's like seven of them. I don't even know. It's because those fucking Twitter statuses came out. And I was like, what is this? Wait, there's Twitter statuses? I mean, that's that's what that's why I'm tweeting them. It's, uh, just, there's a status above each one of them? You notice that? It just looks like it's tweets. Like, spoiler alert. No? No. Oh, so you people are... Okay, so it hasn't unlocked for some people. It's probably really confusing. I tweeted a photo afterwards, but that's what I was doing. Pause. Remember how we talked about the way you just have this way of just being like, up here... <laughs> It hasn't unlocked for some people. I forget that I am whitelisted on Twitter because white, I am white. <laughs> Again, trying to be white. Uh, trying to be white. We we just spent twenty yes, minutes. I'm on the white list. I'm next in line. We Give spent, me my privilege. We spent twenty minutes fixing the lighting so Mac wouldn't look so black. I first of all, I we spent twenty minutes fixing the lighting so you wouldn't look so pale. So here's my <laughs> here's our problem. I don't want to look so white, and you don't want to look so black. Why do we hate ourselves? I don't know. Wow. You, stop touching if me. If we're going to get monkeypox, we're going to get Stop touching it me. No. That's insane. This is the episode where we Shit's make out. Shit's getting crazy out. <laughs> Shit's getting crazy out of here. Mike's suggesting us to make out. Shit's getting crazy. I don't know what's happening. Mike's lonely. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. I'm choosing to be a little bit lonelier. I feel like everyone needs to right now, girl. Yeah. Something's going around. Yeah, and no. we all need to figure the fuck out. <laughs> I know it's true. Everybody I mean, should be by themselves real quick for a few weeks, you know. <laughs> can we talk about monkeypox? Yeah, let's talk about it. I and I want your opinion on this because I don't like how they're marketing it at all. Marketing it? Yes. <laughs> how it's being marketed yes. to the girls. Yeah, and I think it's propaganda. I, I, I have a conspiracy theory. It's it was very reckless the way, yeah, the way they've been first pushing it out, especially the fucking list of the people that should go get vaccinated. Yes. It's the most PC version way of saying, oh, if you're gay and a whore. Yes. Please, please go get vaccinated. <laughs> if you're on prep. Yes. <laughs> Girl, what? To, a recent <laughs> Aris and I literally walked in and just were like, I went to a sex party. I had 15 cocks in my mouth this weekend. I need it now. We were just like, Give, did, you get, did you get a vaccine? They turned me away and gave it to Aris. Wow. Racism. Racism. That's what it is. In Los Angeles. No, but uh, you, and I will say, this is my conspiracy. What? Uh, you know, it's I find it so funny that right before we're about to have all these people try to come for queer rights, that this disease comes out that we're going to make it seem like it's just for the gays because we're so nasty and gross and we're spreading a disease that should be feared. All this kind of shit and propaganda mm -hmm. before we have to vote on these rules against queer people or laws and shit like that. Yeah, they're going to push that politically. Yeah, but it's reckless. It's reckless because it spreads to everybody. It's not a gay thing. It's not a gay thing. It's just that it's... it's <laughs> This strand or whatever, there's not that much information about it, is mostly reliant on hardcore contact that's mostly between sexual intimacy. I, I've and heard different. so the gays, you know, men be men. And that's why it spreads a lot between the, the gay men right now. Are we just acting like straight people don't fuck in the ass? Like it's not 20 No, it's not just about fucking in the ass. It's about sexual ness. I don't know. I don't know what the story of how he even came to the United States. Have you never seen a cam girl? <laughs> Are you kidding me? I don't believe but I'm that saying, gay but also people like, are more. I don't believe. I don't believe. You don't, I know. It, we don't believe either, but it's just that I guess a gay man was the first to have it. You know, that's how it happens. We ain't touching the straights like that. I don't know. So it's, I don't know, it's very interesting. It's I very see interesting. a bunch of girls on TikTok with it. And, the, and I've seen a lot of people. And honestly, this is not facts. This is not where you come for facts. Mm -hmm. I see a lot of people saying that it's not even like sexually transmitted. You can get it from like sharing a toilet seat. You can get it possibly, from like, possibly, and some people. You get it, I mean, yeah, everything. I mean, it, yeah, it's not a, it's not an STD at all. It can be. It's just primarily transmitted through hardcore contact, yeah, like severe, like basically intentional contact. That's what they're saying, mostly sexual intimacy. But it can be spread through sharing something, or if you're in like a crowded fucking space with a bunch of sweaty dancing people, that mm. can spread really fast. So don't go to Delph, <laughs> <laughs> no, girls. Don't no. go to Delph. Don't go to Mega Wolf. You <laughs> calm down real quick. Sit at home, eat a pizza. Honestly, um, honestly, and I don't plan on going anywhere. I, I'm, I'm confused if I want to like not go anywhere or go somewhere remote by myself. And I mm -hmm. tweeted both those out today, and it was very confusing for a lot of people because <laughs> I literally was like, "I'm not going anywhere until all this is ready." And like an hour later, I'm like, "I'm booking a flight and going yes, as far." I saw those tweets. You said I'm gonna stay home. I I can't stay home. You, said you tried it for two minutes. You're like, no. Everybody was quote tweeting it like, "Well, that lasted an hour." <laughs> me now 
<laughs> yeah, it's crazy. It's a it's a crazy looking disease virus. Well, I don't even know what it's classified as. It looks like a pox. It's just is it a pox or is it like it's a, pox? Is I it, mean, it's bumps on your body. W- w- couldn't it be like a, a type of herp? I don't know. I don't no, know. I mean, because you can get chicken pox through contact as well. So it's like... It's Isn't just chicken a, pox part of... Can, can we consider like a herp? I don't, a girl, I don't is. know, girl. I'm not a scientist. I'm not a mixologist. I'm not a, I'm not a virologist, whatever the fuck people study I'm not a penologist. <laughs> I'm not an entomologist. You know, I'm king of the ologists. But it's crazy. Does it but always get nothing. that bad? Does it always get no. that bad? No. I mean, okay. when it comes to diseases and viruses, it always depends on the person. Just like COVID, some people... Some people died, girl. Yeah. And some people did it. And let's it look all at the positives. On the person. And it's nothing to really severely freak out about. Mm. Just keep your circle of people you're touching small. Yeah, it's just nasty. Don't you need you don't need to be going to DILF, girl. Yeah. You can stay home for Why a are bit. Why you talking about DILF? <laughs> That's the one that comes to my mind. It's quick. <laughs> it's quick and easy. <laughs> um <laughs> But let's look at the positives. There is a positive. Dilf, white party. Don't go to white party. I don't know. Isn't white party once a year thing? Yes. Oh, never mind. Let's. There's also. Have you ever heard of black party? Black party. There's a thing happening um, up north called Lazy Bear that Jake and I were originally going to go to, but is it a bear busy. convention? Yeah. Oh, that's why you want to go. Because <laughs> for me, well, like on, boy, honestly, uh, I was thinking just like imagine like a lazy pool, like a long ass lazy pool of gays. That'd be fun. <laughs> that's what I want to do. In my thirties, that's what I want to do. We but, rent out. Isn't there a lazy pool in um? Oh no, never mind. You're forgetting the main positive of monkeypox. What? All the clout the people making TikToks about it are getting. Oh my god! Oh my god. The views. Uh, the views. No, I love how Instagram has no idea what to do about this. So whenever someone talks about monkeypox, is a warning about COVID underneath it. I'm like, <laughs> girl, make up your mind. Oh my like god. Instagram is confused. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Uh, <laughs> the clout people are getting. Don't bring good acts. Like if you got monkeypox, I haven't seen any monkeypox TikTok. I only see them on my Twitter. I've never seen them on. TikTok. I've seen, only seen them on TikTok. Never seen them on Twitter. I've right. only seen them on Twitter. Now on TikTok. Well, you're always on Twitter. Are you ever on TikTok? I am on TikTok, but all I get is like f- stupid meme shit, you know? Because yeah. I made videos watching stupid meme shit on TikTok, and now it's all I get. I um, tagged you in a video today. Yes, I saw it. Wow. I called A little you- clip of our... Um, Podcast. podcast. Last week. Yes, I forgot the word. I for called it. you my best social media friend because you're not my best friend. I know you're not my best friend. No. We hate each other. Honestly, Mac beats me. Remember when I used to tell you guys about how Mac beats me? I haven't done that in a minute. Ever mind? Don't touch me. I'm not touching you. Fucking, no, look at it. Look at it. Look, he's th- look at look I'm at not him. touching you. He's. I'm not touching you. This is. I'm not touching you. Mental abuse is still <laughs> abuse. <laughs> Trigger warning. <laughs> Hashtag emotional. Warning. Uh, uh, but yeah, what were we talking about? Oh, monkey box. Oh, uh, <laughs> wait, no. Speaking of, you said Twitter or Instagram. What we're talking about social media is. Did you see the video the the CEO of Instagram made? Oh, how they're pivoting towards video because that's what, that's what everyone's doing. Basically, the, the video he made was basically him saying, "Oh, we're submissive as fuck, so we're going to do whatever's fucking popular instead of being like you know one of the juggernauts of social media and yes. just powering through what we know is good. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna truly it's fall like only stand him. your fucking ground. Don't chase the money. Your Instagram. No but other platform. No other platform does what Instagram does. So for them to abandon that completely just feels well sad it's also it's also the same i'm also going to judge youtube and all those up platforms everything wants to be tiktok Mm -hmm. and it's kind of like not in the beginning you had a choice and now it's kind of like you really don't yeah you know what you know what happened is because we let them be all snapchat we let that happen we all just kind of looked away as they were adding stories and shit all one by one and now they're all copying each other again it's like girl we need to tell them to stop and you know what we shouldn't have done that because (laughs) snapchat filters are better they're yes, better. Yes, they're better. They're so much better. Oh my God, we suck. We suck. We should have. We should have. We should storm their capital. <laughs> <laughs> that their um the video though it basically because it got so many dislikes and like all that kind of like negative attention mm-hmm. and he basically was just like it was funny how he was like okay I hear you I hear that you all hate what we're doing mm-hmm. but let me just re- explain what it is that we're doing that you already know and yeah. hate. I'm like what the? But then I saw that since that video he made got s- like 
insane negative attention. It was like Rebecca Black all over again. Mm-hmm. It was in, like, the fact that I saw articles that said that now they were going to overturn that. But I'm like, we'll see. We'll see. I don't I, I don't, even Kristen Teigen came out of the blue out of her re- social media retirement. I don't, is she still retired from social I media? Know. I don't even know. But she came out of the blue tweeting something about it to him. Yeah. But I got to tell like, you. Girl, you even got Chrissy Teigen upset. <laughs> I mean, I got to I got to tell you from like a content creator's perspective and i don't know how you feel about this like i know a lot of people who like where it's if it's not their job they're just like i'm just gonna leave the platform Mm -hmm. like or whatever and i'm just like well honestly you know what it is it's just gonna get repetitive and that sucks for the people it's gonna gonna, i feel like it's gonna get oh keep going sorry it's (laughs) fine it it sucks for the people like that watch or like 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 our content because normally it'd be like oh if you want videos you you go to Instagram you want short content you go to TikTok you want the long content you go to YouTube but now mm-hmm. we're being so monopolized and forced to do what we don't want to do to mm-hmm. the, it's they're killing the reach of photos and long form content unless you play by their rules so all you that means for everybody else is you're just gonna start seeing repetitive shit across yeah. all platforms all platforms that sucks um I I even uploaded a short today and at the end of the short I was like I don't even know if y'all like these but you know I'll post the one of these ones at the blue moon. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, but I was gonna say, um, I feel like it's it's getting big like this because you know the excitement of the explosion of TikTok. But then it's gonna get down to the conversation of money, mm. and then that is when a lot of these apps are gonna pivot. You know mm. what I mean? People are gonna start asking for more. I think I believe YouTube Shorts are the most monetizable, but yes. their system is the worst. Yes. So we'll see. We'll see what the fuck happens. You, you know, it's gonna be. Imagine if TikTok started monetizing their shorts better and started like making it available to upload hour long content like YouTube, YouTube mm-hmm. would be, could be done. I'm <laughs> they, not even upload kidding. 10 minute content to TikTok now. 10 minute. I mean, well, that's how YouTube started. I imagine. It started I mean, that's out a few better. minutes and went up to 10 minutes and went up to like but an hour and But can you monetize plus. it like you can on YouTube? No. That's the problem. Yeah. The second they give us that opportunity, because I fucking am so over YouTube because like the, my reach is shit. The second Google ad says it's like, yeah, sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> then suddenly TikTok's going to turn around. I will follow the money. <laughs> I am so, I'm like, listen, I will follow daddy wherever daddy goes. But it's such goes. an interesting algorithm, TikTok. It. You know what? We'll just talk about social media, girl. Um, it's such an interesting algorithm because I've seen so many people specifically over um quarantine. So many people blow up on TikTok. Mm. And then I go back on TikTok once in a blue moon and see their profiles. And it's like... Yeah. Their engagement is gone, basically. Like, their audience is gone. They'll have, like, millions of followers but only get, like, a couple thousand views on a video. And I'm like, what the fuck happened? So TikTok's algorithm is dangerous in the sense that it boosts people's egos but then will crash them back down in a second. Because the algorithm is nasty, girl. Are you talking at me? (laughs) You. It's a, the same happened. It happened to everybody because even my TikToks don't give me that many views anymore yeah. either, and I don't upload TikToks in the yeah. first place. But I've seen people that like have millions, millions of fo- followers, and only get like a couple thousand, maybe like five thousand, like their most viewed TikTok in like past month or something. I mean, I got to be honest. I mean, that's still how I feel on YouTube. And that is like a shitty fucking feeling. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because that's like, why, yeah, when I see that, I'm like, that's probably really shitty. Because I know a lot of people on YouTube, when that happens to them on YouTube, they're like, crash and burn. Yeah. I don't know the TikTok culture, but I feel like the same is probably happening to these TikTok creators. Sometimes it's, sometimes there's a high and sometimes it's a low and it's a stressful career yeah, because you are not in control at all. Playing the numbers game can be very stressful. And like, I mean, when I'm not, I'm, I really, like I've always said, I don't really care about the numbers. But it will get to a point eventually if, you know, things don't get better or make like improvement where you're like, I don't know if I can live like this because mm-hmm. it's like I was just comfortable. I wasn't like a big creator, maybe to, compared to some people, but I, not mm-hmm. not in like the grand schemes of if you're going to yeah, live we're off not, of We're it. not Larray, you know, you bitch. <laughs> I'm not. You made me. <laughs> no, he's bigger than both of us. Whatever. He says hi to you at VidCon. Yes, because he's my child. Okay. I was his inspiration. Now yeah. he's <laughs> like 10 times more subscribers than me. <laughs> but that's that's why I started. I mean, that's the main reason why I started my Patreon. Because when I see dips like that, I'm like, it, it, it'll give me like just something to rely on. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Something that I can like not have to worry in case it's like a really long period of a dip and something like that. Because I mean, mm-hmm. I'm taking care of myself. I'm saving and everything like that. But still, it's a little scary. Speaking of Patreon on my shit. Anyway, guys. Oh, my God. Wowie caboodles. We have a Patreon. Oh, my uh, God. Oh. Oh, what? I forgot to upload last week's episode reaction. It's whatever. All Stars. We, we, you know what? This, it's fine. Um, oh, you did it? Upload- <laughs> Look at you, just like, it's whatever. 
I am going to be uploading it right after here. So by the time this comes right. out, it'll be up. I'm sorry. We filmed it last week, so it should have been up. Are we gonna, we're going to be finishing out the season. I think it just ended. The season just ended. Should so, we talk about, should I be my gay agenda? No, no, not at all. Why would it be your gay agenda if we're doing it on Patreon? I know, true. I mean, we could announce the winner. No. I have another gay agenda. No. Okay. Keep your, the gay agenda is, I'm doing an ad. Go, okay. I'm doing, go to the Patreon if you want an ad. Con you threw off my groove. Go to the Patreon and I'll show my titties. Will you really? On the, I mean, I've shown my titties on my YouTube channel. Your on I'll, post, I'll post my titties on the Patreon. <laughs> Check it out. Uh, I like how I blow it off camera when I totally just sucked it. You just on. sucked it on camera, like that girl, like the girls now. Um, Can I do that on YouTube? I'm stressed. Vape. Um, it's a, it's a, it's a gray field. Okay, then if you do it too much, they'll demonetize us. But I think once you're like, no, they will notice. <laughs> How about you know? Every time I do, just crop off. Don't you crop? Just crop. Yeah, crop, crop my off. face. Yeah, crop zoom my face. <laughs> That's what I did last time. I stop caring. <laughs> honestly, I like I do those live editing things on uh, Twitch now, and honestly, the hardest part of it is when I'm like live for three, four, five hours editing. And I can't hit that fucking <laughs> addiction is a bitch. <laughs> it's fully Stop it. No. Stop it. No. Go on the patch. No. Start wearing the patch. No, I gave up all other bad habits in my life other than drinking. I want to keep at least one vice because I'm happy, but I'm also Put like kind of ready to die. I was. <laughs> See what happens when you interrupt, you ruin it. That's why I interrupted it. That was dark. Um, gay agenda with Max. Back. We're moving on. Ah, so Beyonce released an album for the girls. That's gay agenda for the girls. Yes, <laughs> it's for the girls. My, have you heard it, Mike? I have. It's for the girls. Miss, it's for the dolls. I have a question. It's for the dolls. How did you know about Miss Honey? Miss Honey. Because I'm connected. No, you're not. I don't know. You know this, but I'm a secret elite. Um, I go to the Rock Nation brunch. <laughs> No, it's because, no, the thing is, the story about that is that I've known about that video from a friend years ago, like right after high school when I had like my internet friends I was forming from YouTube. Uh -huh. um, and so when I was on TikTok, I was scrolling and someone posted that. That's why it has a TikTok thing. I saw that TikTok and someone said, oh, Beyonce put this video, like it's um, sampling. sampling this video yeah. in her next song. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> like it was like a full circle moment for me because I remember, yeah, back in the day, I was like, Miss with me and my friends and so i posted on my twitter being like oh my god <laughs> i didn't know that's why you were what doing a circle it. moment because sometimes and then yeah it came on and everyone was like wait mac how did you know how did you know i was like girl everyone knew everything about beyonce before beyonce knew about beyonce okay that the beehive is crazy <laughs> <laughs> you you like randomly have texted me multiple times last week before the al album came out just voice notes at like two in the morning miss honey miss honey miss honey Miss Honey, because whenever I hear, because even my my friends even said it, it sounds like me. It does the Miss Honey part. <laughs> it's very it me. Does <laughs> it needs to be a new sound in your videos? 100. Here I am feeling fierce. It's my favorite part. <laughs> I didn't see. I didn't even. I don't know if you sent me the video and it said that, and I didn't know because when I was listening to the album, I was at the gym. I've only heard like four or five songs on the mm -hmm. album. It's on. It's like the second to last song. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. that's because I put it on shuffle. Okay. And I was literally doing curls at the gym, and it came on, and I bust out laughing. <laughs> Mac, I didn't like. I like it caught me so off guard. I'm like, I'm listening to Beyonce, and all of a sudden, I'm like, Miss Hot. I, I was, <laughs> I was just thinking, like, did he produce this? I was like. Oh. I was like, how the fuck did he know? <laughs> it was historical. Of course the, I know. It's Beyonce. But the, the songs I heard, I mean, I thought they were great. I don't really know how to judge music. I only know if things are good or I bad. I don't know how to judge music either. We don't, yeah, you don't do. judge music. You know music better. I'm saying the album is amazing. The album is good. It's, but I, it's a <laughs> nice album. The I'm very, I'm curious what, because she's doing two other albums. What? Why? Why? It's a three act album. This was only act one. And it was like, what, 16 songs? She's pulling a fucking... You know how all these artists have been coming out with like 25 song albums? She's doing that. She's trying to buy an island. She's trying to buy she probably already has one, girl. She wants another one. She, her and Jay Z are worth like what? Five billion? I don't fucking know. Well, she would be. Uh, I mean, <laughs> quarantine. Beyonce doing quarantine. What else is she gonna do? I know. Yeah, they were just making music together. But yeah, she's making a. It's a three act album. And I just wonder what the other acts are gonna sound like. Is she gonna like shift the sound? Is it gonna all sound 
<laughs> like it's from a ballroom club. Like what's happening? Yeah. Meanwhile, we we <laughs> still ain't got shit from Rihanna. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting nothing from Rihanna. We're never getting an album from Rihanna. But I think that's I think that's kind of fierce. Like I feel like she's like I she's like loves edging everyone. She keeps on edging everyone. She's like, oh, I'm going to a writer camp. Girl, you're yeah. not. Yeah. You're sitting at home. It's like you're you're drawing more sketches, <laughs> drawing more lingerie. It's like when, it's like it's like being that hot person at a club, but you're like you won't sleep with anybody, but you just love the fact that everybody wants you. Like that's what she's doing. That's what she was and doing. And I love yeah. that. I love it's that. So interesting. But I feel like if she were to come out with an album, she would just drop it. Not yeah. even a single warning. It'll just happen. I mean, for a while, I did think that she had a really bad stutter. During one of her fashion shows, it's going to come out. Yeah. <laughs> I thought she had, like, a stuttering problem for, like, the longest time. Because, I mean, I like her songs, but it's the same word. S, 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 and, 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 and. Keep going. Give me another one. Shining bright like a diamond. Shining bright like a diamond. It's... It's like, but the beat is sick, and it's Rihanna, so she could literally be like, "Oh, I like these four yes. words. Repeat them, and it's fierce." That's also because she's from. Um, they they utilize the fact that she's from the island. You know, that's kind of like island music. You yeah. Know? So they 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 utilize that. That's her brand. She's yeah. From Barbados. Barbados. So, Barbados. Barbados. Yeah. I think right. I don't know. I don't know. See, I'm not gonna get that wrong. You're gonna. Get I'm gonna get that wrong. wrong. I'm gonna get attacked. You're gonna be by the. the what is that. Rihanna's fan base? The antis. What is it? The antis. The, the Rihanna army. Ruby? The Navy? What is the Navy. it? The Navy. The Navy. <laughs> and 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 uh, BTS's Army, Rihanna's Navy, and and uh, Beyonce's Beehive. Beyonce's Beehive. What's you? What's yours? I don't know. For the longest time, I used to call them my children because I made that video of like, "I am your father." Long as time ago. So have I. I didn't made it way before you, hunty. I don't believe you. Put it up. <sighs> It's around the time I made that Pluto is a Planet video. It was like oh, that God, same year. <laughs> yeah. It was, it was a long ass time. That's oh, why I lived please. with my dad. <laughs> what do I call my people? Um, don't you call them? Uh, oh, my God. What's it called? Fucking when people frequent bars a lot. They're called. Oh, my gosh. I just blinked. When they're at bars a lot, they're a reoccurring customer. That's what you call. You know I'm right, but I'm forgetting the fucking word. I'm there. I'm with you. I get your brand. No, we're not, we're, I we're, just don't no. remember the word. We're not. I'm, the thing is, here we're gonna go. I'm gonna put this mic down, and we are not moving on till you get it. Oh my God, Mike! No, Mike! No, Mike! It's the uh, it's the motherfucking uh. Oh my God! <laughs> my first thought was frequent flyers. <laughs> That was the first thing that popped in my mind when you said, what is mine? I was like, yeah, the frequent flyers. I was like, wait, no, it's someone that comes frequently to your bar. <laughs> two different things. I can't. I keep on forgetting the name. It's like there it exists. I'm describing it. I know I'm describing it right. And I hope you get the wrong one because there's two things, versions of what you're thinking. I just forget the fucking name. I'm not going to get it. I'm not, I'm one glass in, girl. It's over. There's no. We got to move on. I'm going to pause this camera. <laughs> We're running out of time. Regulars. Regulars. <laughs> I was like, it's something like frequent. <laughs> I was close. <laughs> you were good. No, I was just love torturing you. I love torturing you. Regulars. I was thinking commons for a second. I was mm -hmm. like commons. <laughs> so wait, do you have anything else to say about Beyonce's album? Um, uh, twerk. I haven't. I mean, I only listened to it twice all the way through. Attack him. Me attack him. <laughs> I listened to it once at like what midnight, and I listened to it again. I think two days later. Wow. I like it. Wow. I mean, there's some songs that are like okay. There's some songs that are really wow. good, but it's wow. also a three act album, so I'm not expecting every single fucking song to be a fucking killer. Wow. Hit, you know, during Black History. <laughs> If you ever want to get me a bottle of wine in the future, just so you know, as a gift, you know, because my birthday's coming up. What is it? A five hundred dollar bottle of Italian wine? No, it's actually cheap. I think it's French. I like French wine. French wine. I like. I like. If you're getting me a white, there's a Pinot Grigio called Picpoul. 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 Yes, it is fermented. Is it P I C P O L? It is fermented. Uh, something like They're that. They're all fermented, but Mike. I, I don't know, Mike. I'm, I'm going to tell you a really, really cool fact about wine. It's fermented grapes. <laughs> I know that's fucking insane. I know. You calm know, down. Calm down. See what happens. Breathe. Breathe. I haven't been able to finish this sentence. <laughs> this is a fact. You 
okay for me. So now I'm mad. It's my bad. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's fermented in the ocean, in barrels that are in the ocean in Cannes, France. That's fucking stupid. I love it so much. <laughs> I love it so That sounds like a dumbass gimmick. No, it's got an oyster Let's on it. Let's put in barrels in the fucking sea. It's yep. got $5 million. No, oh it's, actually, it's pretty cheap. It's pretty cheap. Pretty cheap. And there's also a rosé I like called La Croix. Why French? I, I don't know. It's just I worked at a French restaurant and these wines I had and I just loved them. Okay, calm down. Okay. You know what I almost <laughs> did today? And I'm not, I am not. wasn't going to do it now because I am trying to chill until Monkey Pox came. I literally just almost bought like a plane ticket to Paris. Go okay. ahead. Go. Yeah. Go be wild. Go I'm, be a slut in I, Paris. I'm not, no, I'm not going to be a slut. I kind of just want really want to travel. And I'm tired of waiting on planning my shit with other people. So I might just start going places by myself. Literally, I'm 30 and I am thriving, and I could write it all off of my taxes. So I, I want to do travel. that. I want to travel, but I just can't. I can't. I feel guilty. Wait, for what? Traveling. I have a boyfriend. So what? I feel weird traveling the world without my boyfriend. I feel like he'll get upset with me. Wow. What am I? That's doing? literally the reason why I don't do it. What? what it's gonna ask you, so let's have the talk. You know, it's it's such a struggle dating someone who's poor. Let's have the. T- <laughs> Let's have the talk. Okay. What are we? <laughs> we are. What do you want to be? <laughs> Nothing. I just want to be funny. I want us to travel. But what would we do when we travel? I feel like you and I are different, like social people. What would we do when we travel? Mm-hmm. What would we do when we travel? I don't do that. <laughs> Please don't do that. What would we do? Like, I don't know. Would we see things? Do stupid shit. Yeah, I love seeing things. If I've never been to the country, I want to I want to do like one tourist thing at least. A yeah. couple tourist things. I would definitely be like filming a lot of like I want to see shit. the nightlife. <sighs> yeah. Let's go to fucking Iceland. <laughs> I would go to Iceland. Let's go to Reykjavik, 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 whatever the fucking capital of Iceland is. It's apparently the safest um Shut up. It is apparently the safest city for gay people Ooh. in like the entire world. I want to go somewhere not safe for gay people. I'm going to go to Egypt. Dubai. Egypt. Egypt. No, Dubai's expensive. Egypt. <laughs> because, well, I don't even know. I mean, I, I, my best friend lives in Egypt. And mm-hmm. I literally also, I was Paris, and I also DM my friend. And I'm like, I might just buy a ticket to Cairo. <laughs> Stop me. Like, I, I will. I'm not gonna, I want to go to, to I want to go to Croatia. I want to buy a ticket to her. She's right down the street, girl. Who? Who? My niece's name is Cairo. Oh, no one cares about her. Anyway, so I want to go to Croatia. I want to go to France. I mean, she doesn't like me now, so no one cares about her. You're right. That ungrateful bitch. <laughs> she, she, people, people keep on telling her, oh, she, <laughs> like, you're going to be her favorite person when she grows up and understands. <laughs> you know, it would be really funny. You need to make a video just doing like hardcore in, in, like, interrogating her. Just like interrogate your niece. A video with her. Yes, because I want to do a video no, with my nephew. No, she's like afraid of me. That's funny, Mac. <laughs> I haven't done for people that are listening and listen and watching. I haven't Bully done your anything. And nieces. I haven't done anything to her. I was just making food one day, and I turned on the blender when she was right next to me, and I like traumatized her. She like <gasps> got so scared. Oh yeah. yeah and yeah. ever since then, she's just been afraid of me. <laughs> oh, oh my god, news, yeah. news. <laughs> What? So you know my sister's having another baby. Yes, you told me that. Gender has been for now assigned. For now assigned. Because I did tell them. But the I, sex. What genitals do the baby have? Male. It's a penis? Yes. It's a penis. Well, ma- male and female uh, is sex. Not gender. Correct? Yeah, male and female is sex. Yeah, but, ma- but I did make it very quick. Like whenever she was like, oh my God, it's a boy. I was the one in the group chat being like, for now. <laughs> And then all the family, all the family who's like super, you know, they're like, oh, it's liberal, everything. But then they say that and they're like, Michael, stop it. <laughs> and then, shut up. And then now I, I told my sister, I was like, just so you know, fully, if either of your kids are ever trans, I will be the uncle that sneaks them hormones. Fully. I'm not a problem. Uh, I hope my niece comes out like a little bit fruity. Yes. Oh. I, I want her to be a little bit fruity. So I'm like, yes. yes! Oh my God. Say <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Imagine. I was like, oh, if you bring your little girlfriend over here. She- no. <laughs> Y'all can spin it over here. I'll, I'll keep it a secret. <laughs> but no, Mac, see, in all seriousness, as like a queer, like if I was like a queer kid, mm-hmm. having me as an uncle in LA that my, I can go visit 
to like. Oh yeah, I'm about to say more families in LA. So like I'm, send send me the child. Send me the child. <laughs> send me the child. <laughs> yeah, like Jake's gay uncle is in Chicago. I keep on telling him, why are we in Chicago living it up with yes, your gay uncle? Yes, market days. Why? Yeah, dead ass. Dead ass. <laughs> He's probably his uncle's probably been so many times. Oh my god, about stories. His uncle's probably <laughs> gotten spit roasted on the street. Dead ass. Dead ass. Wait, I don't want to hear that. <laughs> Uh, anyway, but the name, they have a name. What's the name? Liam Michael. Ah! Wow. After you? Yes. Wow. Middle well, name? Or is that one name? Middle name. Okay, so here's the I'm thing. Because I know you people like to do like two na- first names. My, my Well, since since we're Irish Italian. I said you people. You saw I got yeah. racist real quick. Yeah, I did. <laughs> mm, okay. You, oh, so we're two names. And what's what's your community? Just like thinking of Don't scratch- say it, Beyonce. That's that's Mac being like we have a podcast. Don't get canceled. <laughs> oh, but um, uh, no. So um, so okay, we are okay. Irish Italians. Okay, my sister's first kid was named Nolan for the okay. uh for um Italian middle name Gregory after my dad, and then Liam is more Gaelic, gay. Okay, Gaelic, and then middle name Michael. And here's the thing. So Nolan, I let my brother in law be the godfather my sister mm-hmm. asked if i care i'm like i don't give a fuck but this is the second one that means this one's mine and you know what that means i get to tell nolan the one who isn't mine that i don't love him as much his entire life and it's not true but i'm always going to tell him that don't traumatize no children. i no, i will humble him it don't is my job kids. no because i'm gonna i'm gonna i want i can't wait to be that funny uncle where both of them are sitting there and be like no can you stop talking liam's please Nolan, can you actually go stand over there? Liam, I'm talking to Liam. <laughs> Nolan, can you stop? Like, you know, I can't wait to bully him. Oh my god, I'm gonna bully the shit out of my nephews. Stop it. No, <laughs> no, I want them to know that the chances of their them, their uncle of killing them is not high, but it's not zero. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I love those little rug rats, but I won't let them Jesus know fully Christ. how much. You you give them the book Flowers in the Attic. Have you ever read Flowers in the Attic? Yes. Just give them that book and be like, that could be you one day. Yeah. Let it be known. <laughs> because you know what? You know what builds character? A little bit of trauma. A little bit of trauma. And if you grow up with a family who just loves you, no. <laughs> that doesn't build character. I want you to be successful. Okay? So, have you ever seen a movie, Flowers in the Attic? Yes. That shit is so fucking camp. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's like a weird Lifetime special. I fucking loved it. <laughs> Also, I've always loved Lifetime movies. I when you were when when you were gone after you left VidCon, uh-huh. I spent that entire morning just watching Lifetime, just weird ass <laughs> shit on Lifetime because I haven't seen it in such a long time. Because my mom used to love Lifetime movies too, so I haven't seen them in a long time. And I was just sitting there watching it, and there was like some weird movie about like some woman was like she had a sugar. Da- the movie was it was called Sugar Daddy, <laughs> and her sugar daddy was like abusive, <laughs> but like abusing her like on the jets. And I was like, what is this movie? The- <laughs> like, it was like, yeah, I, I came in so late, but like they were on the jet and there was like a horror scene happening in on the jet. But I kind of. On been- her sugar daddy's jet. And I was like, why? What is this movie? What's he- happening? Here's the thing. If I was, <laughs> if you're going to get abused. I- okay. Trigger warning. <laughs> I'm okay, saying go it. Ahead, yes, go ahead. yes. If you're going to get abused. Might as well be with a rich might- man. No, might as well be on a jet. Okay. I've gotten abused. In worse places, okay. <laughs> Not a jet, so you can't escape. That's terrifying. Okay, that's fine. I never want to be in a dramatic moment on an airplane. I'll probably have a panic attack. I would rather an airplane than a yacht. I have not been on a yacht in years. I have. What kind of yacht? Big the reason why I don't go to yacht parties anymore is because when you come to LA, you start to realize the the, the smallest boats can be classified as a fucking yacht. An eight point five million dollar yacht. Okay, go ahead, girl slay but that's why i don't go to yacht parties anymore whenever someone says oh, i'm having a yacht party i'm like girl that's a boat don't lie oh, to yeah, me no, it's a fucking it's, boat it's a that's a boat with a deck okay no, when a man a- <laughs> when a man here's a thing here's a tip from one hoe to another when a man tells you come to my boat picture i need a picture and statements come to my yacht. yeah i want big statements <laughs> like when i went on this I, I didn't think it was gonna be a yacht. Don't, i didn't know where i was going i'm talking mm-hmm. like i knew we rolled up to this millions of million dollar yacht he's mm-hmm. like yeah here are our five rolls royce engines 
worth five hundred thousand dollars each. Yummy. We got yeah. it. There were slave quarters on it. Yeah, a lot of yachts do have that. I mean, you can call it something uh, different. We can reclassify it. Well, they didn't say what race slave the slaves part. were. It's just that was the term. They can you know call what? like no, I'm sorry. a closet. You know they what? can call it like a service room. I don't fucking know. Everyone, wait. Cancel me. I'm pretty sure it was the servant quarters, but I called it the slave quarters. That's me mixing up my words. I'm wow. sorry, Beyonce. You can Beyonce. take a man out of New Jersey. <laughs> but you can't take New Jersey out of the man. What is New Jersey out of Beyonce. <laughs> Both of us realizing what we just said. Um, that's interesting. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Do How did boats. we get here? I do not know, but I actually am having a fun time. Um, I have a game we could play. Oh, are we? Okay. Just before we go too far away from Beyonce, I had a game. Okay. We were talking about Beyonce. No, we moved on from Beyonce. I know. That's why. I, I, cause, but remember, I said I wanted to play a game, then we started talking about wine. and then we Okay, what's the game? Remember, I love us. Mm -hmm. By the way. Thank you. Because <laughs> when we came, just so you guys know, hour-long podcast, I go go to Mac, what are we talking about today? He, and he goes, freaks out. You freak out so much about the ideas. Yes. I don't. I'm so lax. I'm like, you. We. I because I know you, and I, I know, know we can talk about anything. Anything. You just got to believe in us. I do. <laughs> sometimes, you know what? Sometimes it's hard because, like, right now, I'm, like, in the zone. But sometimes mm -hmm. if I'm, like, tired... I get like nervous that I will like flounder and I never do, but you, you never know, flounder. Um, but look, I literally, I text Mac, I go, so what are we going to talk about today? He goes, monkey pox. Two hours later, Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. No, Beyonce just came out that one, Beyonce. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I looked at it and I said, monkey pox, Beyonce work. <laughs> I was like, that could be the title. Monkey pox and Beyonce, Beyonce work. work. <laughs> <laughs> and we can pick the, the, um, the thumbnail just be us with monkey pox on our faces oh no that's too far no, that's <laughs> uh, we're gonna play a game okay and just cause you know I love stressing you out and potentially uh, canceling you we're gonna do Beyonce trivia okay I don't okay I'll try okay 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 I don't know much about Beyonce after these commercial breaks do we have an ad no uh, after this fake ad Oh, oh, hey, daddy, do you want to, do you need, do you need a boy? Come on down to Boys Are We, where we, we, we give you a boy for your daddy needs. Give him a boy, Mac. Okay, but Mac. not, 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 not an actual child boy, yes. but like an Younger. 18, 19, maybe 20. Two year old, if you're like 45, I don't fucking know. I don't know what you want, but we'll give you a boy. We'll give you someone who classifies themselves as a boy. He might be a 32 year old, but he looks boyish. Uh, come on down to boys, are we? Okay, we we're back. <laughs> <laughs> we, we're back. I have a weird thing. Do you ever have like crushes on animated characters? I've had my entire life. On Zuko? Did you crush on Zuko? No. Bolin. Oh, yeah. Everyone, everyone did. All the real, the real girls knew. But, you know, the real girls knew. But you know my type. What's my type? You said it many times. What is my type? Have I said it? Thick boy with a a, a boyishly handsome face yeah. with brown hair and light green eyes. Big boy with handsome face. Are you fucking kidding and me? Yeah. When I was younger, I had a huge crush on Android eighteen, and everyone made fun of me. Who's Android eighteen? It was it, it, it was a, it was someone in Dragon Ball Z. Oh, yeah. uh, oh, oh! Everyone made fun that of that big me. man, the big one. No, it was a girl. The girl. She had a twin brother. Oh, the girl. The blonde. The blonde. I liked her a lot, and then everybody. She made was a badass. I used to play was. her, and whenever the fighting games came out, I would pick her because she was a badass. She's a badass, and I was also a closet homosexual. Yes. <laughs> but there was only so little girls in those Dragon, Dragon Ball Z fighting games. She was like the I only know. one, I think, at, no, at the point. The only one that could really fight. Yeah. And so I was like, okay. Yeah. And I liked her. And then everybody would make fun of me. I remember one time in the lunch line, they were all like chanting, Mike likes the cartoon. And I was so sad. They all like, liked cartoons. You know, they were all getting hard on fucking that lady bunny from. Uh, lady bunny. The lady. The, no, no. Jessica not lady Rabbit. Bunny. No, not Jessica Rabbit. What's her fucking face? From Lola? Space Jam? Lola. Yeah. <laughs> You know they're all getting hard on fucking Lola. They were just making fun of you because you made they 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 knew. I just talked. They I were like, internalizing their fear. Yeah, I was like so. I was like sh I was like literally. I was that kid in the lunch. I'm like shut up, guy. 
I never, whenever some, I mean, I, that's, I think that's one of the reasons why I never thought I was being bullied because whenever people would like try to do something like that, I would just be like, yeah. <laughs> and then they would shut up. They were, because no one could fucking, but I didn't even give a shit. When no. someone ever tried to dig into me, I'm like, fuck yeah. I didn't learn that till later. <laughs> I'm like, fuck yeah, what do you mean? I, I know, I, I didn't learn that. I didn't learn that till later because in elementary school, I was very emotional. I was gay. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are you ready for these? Yeah, sure. All right. Mac. Okay. Question number one. Why did I grab my phone, girl? What's question number one? When is Beyonce's birthday? Oh, uh, September. I want date and year. Was September right? <laughs> I don't know. I don't fucking know either. That's the problem. I want date and I year. I want to say it's like September 19th, but I'm fucking, I don't even know. What is it? I don't know the year. I do not know how old Beyonce if you is. you can only. I don't know how old Beyonce is, girl. Am I supposed to? I'm sorry. I don't know. You're black. I don't know. Is I know, that like right? a rule? I know that's that's a, it's in the Bible, Isn't girl. It's in, it's in the Black Bible. I don't know. <laughs> who's who's supposed to be like the white Beyonce? Like a Beyonce. Britney like, Spears, I believe, right? Well, not anymore. I mean, she doesn't make music that much anymore. No, but I mean, she was apparently like, she's coming out with a song. It's like a, a cover of some song. I, I mean, that yeah. they're hyping up. I love Britney Spears. I love her. Celine Dion. I know when Celine, Celine Dion. Dion. No, it's not. That's Canada. Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga could be it. It's Lady Gaga. It could be Lady Gaga. Lady she came in late, but she's doing her thing. Current. She's doing her thing. But during, if we're talking about longevity, it could be Britney Spears. But here's the thing. I don't fucking care about celebrities. So like, I'm tired. Madonna. I don't know anything about Madonna. Arise Neither. hates that about me. <laughs> Arise hates. You know, she's been making me like watch old music videos of these people, like these queer artists that I don't know. And uh, old like queer movies. Mm-hmm. You know that one of the producers on X on the Beach almost like punched me in the throat because I didn't know who George Michael was. Really, you don't know who George Michael is? Never heard of him. Jesus. Never. Uh, and I know the comments are going to be like, "Can't believe I'm sorry. Sorry, I was too busy doing shit." Yeah, Madonna. It, Madonna was the first artist to exclusively release a music video on VHS because it was banned in every country. What? What one? Oh no! Oh, take your shot. It was just because she was in fucking lingerie, and that's why you know the nineties. Take your shot for not knowing Beyonce's birthday. God! Ew! It's Smirnoff. Oh! <laughs> yeah, yeah, girl. Yeah. Okay. Next question. There's also ten of these. <laughs> okay. Well, let's we'll see. <laughs> I might not take another shot. We'll see. Okay. Uh, oh, this one's much easier. Beyonce was featured on whose single "Telephone"? Lady Gaga's. Yeah, okay. Then what do I have to take a shot now? Celine the aunt. I'm joking. <laughs> do I have to take a shot? Do you want to take a shot? I mean, I, I want, let me try. Talk to the kids. I want to do this. Try the butter snatch. Butter snatch. Butter snatch. Butter snatch. You know, when I was in a college, I'm, you're gonna attack me. When I was in a college. When I was in a college. When I used to go to Chapman, you know that that short period of time before I was like, I'm out of here. Yep. Um, I used to drink uh, Goldschlager. No, I used to drink um Dr Pepper and schnapps. What kind of schnapps? I, keep, I forgot right now. I literally just forgot what, I'm which one. It's, I'm assuming peach. Yeah, peach. Dr. Pepper and peach schnapps. Yeah. That's because I didn't know that schnapps had such low <laughs> alcohol. No, but you know, no, schnapps doesn't have that low alcohol, believe it or not. Does it? Oh, no. Nah? Okay, but I yeah. used to do that. And that's what I used to drink. Some schnapps is actually like pretty fucking strong. Uh, but I will say, you're still a bitch. <laughs> I was. I mean, I didn't know alcohol Are back sure? then. Are you sure you're not a bottom? No. I used to think. Yeah. I used to be like, oh, that's that's for me, right? Oh. I need a big man. But then I was like, ow. <laughs> I have I have an announcement. What? You're bottom now? Not bottom. But I think I could say I'm like, verse top. More top. Ver- verse top. But verse top. I'm getting closer oh, to Oh, so verse. you really had a weekend. It wasn't. Why are you here? No, it wasn't Get this out weekend. out of my house. It wasn't this weekend. Shit's crazy right no, now. No, this weekend is when I started. Don't touch no, me. it wasn't this weekend. It was the weekend before. This weekend is when I started like calming myself down because th- this weekend was when it started getting like everybody started talking about it. It it can take because it can take up to three weeks for symptoms to appear, so people don't even know they have it until well, here's the thing. Weeks later, here's the thing. If I have it, I have it. I'm making changes. What <laughs> do you want? want Sue me. It. I can't get it because if I get it, then I have to cancel my tour. Oh, wow. <laughs> The tour I've yet to be asked All to be a part of. All solid one thousand dollars I'm gonna make out of this That's tour down bullshit. the drain. You're gonna be making I'm, money for I'm this giving tour. away money. I'm giving away about like three hundred plus dollars every year. show. To who? That's my goal. To the audience. I'm playing games, and people that win the games get money because 
I'm not finding love this time. I'm just you're, you're the sugar daddy because no, the entire yeah, the, the the story of this tour is that I was the first tour I was trying to find a sugar daddy, mm. but in finding that tour, I became the sugar daddy, and so uh. I'm now like a Splenda daddy. So now I'm giving some money away too. So what's next after that? Yeah. Oh no, your funeral. <laughs> Oh, oh. Can I go up there? I want to, you know what would be funny? I'm no, like, I'm broke. It's going to be my flop era. No, um, <laughs> you know you know what would be re- really funny? If we ever do like a combined tour, <laughs> the next one, it's your wake. You just got to lay in the casket, right? Pretend to be sleeping. <laughs> and But write, write a will that I have to then read <laughs> to everyone. <laughs> I, used, I was going to host a show like that. You know that? No. On um, when full screen was a thing, when they were doing their own platform, it was going to be produced by the um, what are the fucking name <sighs> Property Brothers? Sure, whatever the fucking name is. It was going to be called Surprise, You're Dead, and it was, was going to be like people are going to be invited to a talk show, but not knowing what the talk show was, and they will come to the talk show, and it turns out it's their funeral, and then they're going to have like a panel of like judges or something, and we're, we're, it was before cancel culture was a big thing on Twitter, okay. and we were going to go through people's posts Oop. and like roast them. We weren't gonna do anything problematic. We were gonna do yeah. like stupid shit, which would kind of be funny. Which it would have been funny, I but think you that's know, fine. then full screen crashed and burned, and that never happened. Yeah. <laughs> oh wait, do I got? I gotta do this. Cheers. Cheers. When Beyonce was a young girl, ah, uh, what did her mother do? Teach her lessons <laughs> about life. Um, be her ride or die. No, like, like career. I don't know. Wasn't she her manager? No, her dad was. Well, she um, was a little girl. Little girl. Teeny pop. I'm trying to think of it. Did she ever sing it in a song? Wow. Did her mom do anything with the church? I love that everybody's learning that. Meak. Mia- Mia- I don't know shit about Beyonce like that. What the fuck? Do you, am I supposed to follow her? You know, I met her mom once. Miss <laughs> Knowles? Being a L.A. local. <laughs> There's just times where you, because I go to, I know I don't go to like the, you know, the big movie theaters everyone goes to. I go to the small ones around here because I'm a local. And surprisingly enough, when like movie stars or big celebrities want to go somewhere where they're not really being hounded by people, they yeah. go to these small theaters. And she was there. Really? She was just like hanging out. It was, it was the ArcLight by, that, that used to, R.I.P. ArcLight, that yeah. used to be in here in South Bay. And I was with my mom. We were seeing a movie and we walked out and she was just there in the lobby. Really? And my mom noticed her first. My mom grabbed me real fast. She was like, that's Tina No. <laughs> Oh my god! And I was like, "Who?" I was like, "Oh, Beyonce's mom." And my mom went up there, was like, "Hey!" Yeah, you know, what I've, like, you've always avoided living anywhere near like the city or any of that kind of like hubbub. And the one time you did, you hated it. Mm-hmm. But you lived in Hollywood, in the heart of Hollywood. Why? In the heart of Hollywood, because of our. <laughs> wow. He worked in Universal Studios, so we lived in Hollywood, and I hated it. <laughs> I think you could do. Mm. North Hollywood's too far. Um, down here, you're in a suburb. You're next to a Vons. <laughs> well, what does she do? I don't know. She was a hairdresser and a salon owner. Oh, I don't fucking know that. Wow, girl, I don't, know. I don't watch. I don't watch the behind the scenes interviews. What girl. is Beyonce's middle name? Sabrina. <laughs> Christina. Chantel. I knew you were doing. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> what is it? it? I'll give you a hint. It's 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 similar to it's it's one of the housewives of Potomac's names. Girl, I know. I... Destiny, <laughs> Jessica. I mean, is, it, is it a white girl name? Uh, it's Giselle. Just, I knew that. Well, Beyonce, Giselle Knowles, Carter. You should have taken this. I don't seriously. know why I blanked all on that. Yeah, that's because you're not taking that's it what's serious. Written everywhere. Take another shot. Oh Jesus! Take take this seriously. Actually, no full shot because you no, got two wrong. I am not taking a full shot of this. Not this fucking smearing off. Beyonce tried. This one. This is this says Beyonce tried acting. <laughs> Beyonce tried acting acting and gave go- and gave a Golden Globe nominated performance in what 2006 movie? Um, Dreamgirls. Yes. Okay. There we go. <clears throat> you should know this too. Where I mean, every if you're in a fucking musical, you're going to be nominated for a Golden Globe. Isn't that even special? I don't know. I mean, Beyonce is really special, but at the same time, everyone in the musical gets nominated. There's the musical not that many musicals really that come out every year in Hollywood. What was the last musical? Uh, La La Land. That did really well. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. That's all I know. Yeah, she was nominated for a Golden Globe, but she was nominated for an Oscar. Jennifer Hudson won the Oscar. Woo! Wow. Drag her. Slay her. 
Slay your enemies. Okay, I love Beyonce, but she's not a good actress, and everyone knows that. Okay, even the ba- even the Beehive, no, we tweet about it too. Like she's okay, but she's Beyonce. You know, she's a great performer, but she's not the best actress in the fucking world. What about, what about that what, one where she was beating up that white girl who's obsessed with her husband? Oh my god, I totally forgot about that, that fucking movie. movie. That was a good movie. That was like a lifetime movie, it's basically. <laughs> <over here. laughs> that was great. <laughs> Oh, that was funny. I totally forgot about that movie until you just said that. Beyonce, oh, my God. Beyonce fed the children. She goes, I'm going to I, I, I want to be in a movie where I beat the fuck out of a white girl. <laughs> I saw my mom, mom drag me to the theaters to see that. Mm-hmm. And we, I was in the theater with a bunch of women just like my mom. <laughs> just all that making noise. Like, ooh, oh, oh, girl. Oh, oh my God. Like, what is that? You know what? And I know that is t- technically a stereotype. But, but no, every, like, mom does that. It's not Anna Reese. A, Yes. Wait, I'm not the black see- woman thing. It's like a thing that like housewives do. We'll, no, know. I'll go see a movie and a Reese and a Reese has always said she she calls it. She goes, oh, I get black in the movie. I'm like, what does that mean? <laughs> ah, ah. And then she goes, you'll see. And then we'll sit there and she goes, oh, did you? Oh my god, did you see what she said? Can you uh, believe girl, if uh, I was no. in that? What I would have done? No, and I'm like, girl, yeah. I'm like, I look at her. I'm like, it's a stereotype. I'm like, shut up. So many people do shut it. Shut up. <laughs> oh God, but it was funny. Um, him. Where was Beyonce born and raised? Houston, Texas, baby. Yeah, correct. And, and uh, Beyonce's first acting role was in what comedy film? Goldfinger. No. No? Not Austin Powers? Nope. Fuck. I don't know. Temptations? Fighting Temptations? No. Nope. Um, I don't fucking know then. The Pink Panther. Oh, yeah. The Pink Panther was first. Don't yell at me. The Pink Panther was first. For some reason, I think Goldfinger came out before the Pink Panther. But no, yeah, Pink Panther was first. Goldfinger was great. I, Goldfinger I, was great. I love Austin Powers mm-hmm. movies. I wish they would make another one. I would actually so love that. That would be that. great. They that would sh- be I so mean, good. Knowing what Hollywood reuses everything, I'm surprised they haven't. Maybe he doesn't want to do it. I mean, maybe they could. And he you probably, Maybe he's asking for way too much money, and they're like, girl. You know, it would be great. <laughs> I want this time the, the female opposite to be like a Spice Girl. A Spice Girl? They, they would do it now. I can totally see Netflix doing a remake. Netflix or Hulu or something, but I can also see him making like a Universal Studios. It would be a whole theater theater release thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, make another Austin Powers. Teach the kids. Please. Gen Z needs to know what Austin Powers is. Oh my God, they, they need. <laughs> we need fat. Make a, make another Masters of Disguise. I'm surprised they never made that a thing after that one movie. What was Masters of Disguise? It was like his. It was this other franchise they were trying to start. It was kind of like Austin's Powers. It was, it was like a spy that could just make 100 million disguises. Oh, Master of Disguise. Yeah. Oh. He said, "Master of disguise." Yeah, <laughs> disguise. I'm yeah, like, Ma- I remember that. And when he was like turtle, when he was like turtle. a turtle. Yeah, 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 yeah. turtle guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember. Um, all right, what is the name of the elementary school that Beyonce attended? I don't know. She was from Third Ward, so maybe Third Ward Elementary. I don't fucking know. St. Mary's Elementary School I don't in fucking Fredericksburg, know. Texas. What the fuck? I'm not taking a shot. That's stupid. <laughs> How many children does Beyonce have? Oh, um, three. Right. Four? Three. This might be old. This only says one. That's oh, that's no, old. Sure. Yeah, she has three now. She had twins. Yeah, she did have... Th- you know what's funny? When she, she had twins and she had a miscarriage too. <laughs> Do you know I was on the lot at CBS when they took those pictures when she was... Yeah, you twins. tell me that. Remember? Yeah. I got, they were like... They had all like the... um, the cool, Who were her dancers called in her last video? Remember her dancers had like a name? I don't fucking know. Yes, they were all... They wore like the black outfits. I don't fucking know. Whatever her dance, but they were all walking around to the CBS lot. And I'm like, Beyonce's here. <laughs> and she's pregnant. Beyonce here. I was like, oh my God. My yeah, friend sure. Alicia was like, oh my God. <laughs> 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 um, okay. Destiny's Child recorded Independent Woman Part 1. Okay. Which appeared on the soundtrack to which two, 2000 film? Girl, I don't fucking know. Fast and Furious, bitch. I don't fucking know. What the fuck is that? Charlie's Angels. Oh, oh, that meant, yeah. Yeah, see, think about it. I haven't seen Charlie's Angels in such a long ass time, though. (laughs) I want to watch that again. Shit. Because the old ones are camp. Mm -hmm. The old ones are funny as hell. Um, Okay. Beyonce Beyonce won a school talent show at the age of seven singing what John Lennon song? Imagine? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> wow. How'd you know that? It's like only John Lennon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be like, wow. How many nominations did Beyonce receive at the 52nd annual Grammy Awards? Girl, what number are we on? I don't know. Girl, how many Grammys has there been? What is the past Grammy? 
<laughs> well, this is old, and this is years. I don't fucking know. If this is years ago, I don't fucking remember. The 52nd Annual Grammy Awards. You review the fashion every year. You should I review the fashion, girl. I don't know the fucking... Was she nominated like five? What was it? Six? Five? Five? Seven? Eight? Was it when Lemonade came out? When Lemonade came out, wasn't she like nominated for like 12? It was like a high number, wasn't it? 11? <laughs> Nine? 13? 12? Was it 12? 18? Tell me. Four? Zero. <laughs> she came out with shit. One? One. Was it Black Parade? Tell me. You said every number but this. Ten? Yes. <laughs> you, were, you were like eight, nine, <laughs> eleven, twelve, eighteen. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, <laughs> <laughs> what? Right. Oh, here's one easy. What are yeah. Beyonce's parents' names? Tina and fuck. Wow. I don't know the man. I don't the know sperm the man. Killer. I don't know the dad's name. Bobby? No. <laughs> Bob, why are you that, Bobby? Ah, <laughs> uh, Jesus! <laughs> He's getting drunk. Oh uh, no! You get drunk. Oh my God! <laughs> yeah, I am. Can you just go, uh, <laughs> Tina and uh, it was Tina and uh, Mark. Close, Matthew. Matthew. Okay. Close. Um. Okay. Beyonce, while in Parker Elementary School, performed with the school's what? Mascot? I'm fucking up. Band? Think about it. Theater. What would Beyonce be a part of? Choir. Yes. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, aren't, you, aren't you supposed to be an honor student? <laughs> what about this is academic? Uh, no, <laughs> think, okay, Beyonce. I wonder what thing in school Beyonce would be a part of, a professional singer. But that question made it sound like it was more spicy than choir. I was thinking like, oh, maybe she performed with the band. Maybe she was like the selected singer for her band. I don't know. It's oh Beyonce. God. I don't fucking know. Do, you know. do you know that when I used to be a football captain, my mom tried to be like all sassy with me once and she, I'm, I hope I don't offend anybody and if I do, I apologize now. But my mom was like, I was captain of the uh, baton twirlers and, she, and I was like, yeah, isn't that when everybody goes and gets snacks? Such a shut dick. up. My best friend in high school was a baton twirler. You shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> she used to twirl fire baton. It was cool. Okay, that's actually fucking fierce. <laughs> that's actually fucking insane. It was, it was cool. It was, it was fun um, to watch okay. her do that. Beyonce's second solo album, B Day, was released in this US in, in the US My to coincide album. with her what? To coincide with her what? Yes. She released it with her what? What was it for? Was special going on in her life at the time? I don't fucking know, but she was going solo? I don't fucking know. No, was it B-Day? Yeah, no, it wasn't her first solo album, was it? No, it wasn't her first second. solo album. It was her second album. Second solo album. I don't fucking... I was really young when it came out, so I have no clue what... Her 25th birthday. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, so I'm supposed to be releasing my B-Day album right now. <laughs> what is Solange... Speaking of Alba... I'm joking. Up, imagine. I almost said, what is Solange's sister's name? It was Beyonce's sister's Beyonce's name Solange. I Sorry. fucking love Solange. I have her album. Did she punch Jay-Z? Yes. Yeah, she she fought that. Jay-Z in the elevator. I remember that. Because of the situation with... Cheating. Cheating, yeah. Yeah, that's that's fucking awesome. <laughs> I remember that came out and we were like, ooh, yeah, the, the, <laughs> the elevator video. Even was, SNL made fun of it. Oh, all of us were watching it. Was that, great. We were like, it was like, it! damn, she's one of those sisters. Which honestly, respect. Respect, or, really. Uh, like, she yo, didn't give a shit. Yeah. She's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that is wild. Um, okay, let's like, hmm, 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 hmm. Destiny's child was managed by who? Um, her father, Matthew. Yep. And that's it. Wait, no, there's a lot more. Oh, <laughs> there's so much. Um, we we've already had like fifty minutes. We can. It's whatever. <sighs> Give questions? me one more. Give me okay, one more. Okay, Give me one more. Okay. Give me a random one. Let me see if I know it. What was the name of Beyonce's debut album? It wasn't B Day. Why am I blanking on what her first album was? Dangerously in Love. Yes. <laughs> it's like, wait, it's named after the song. Beyonce's debut album, Dangerously in Love, sold how many copies? Three million. Eleven million. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I let you finish it. Because I was like, wow. Come on, work. 
Um, okay, and maybe like, let's try to squeeze in one more. Okay. <sighs> so I was like, I was trying to think back in the day. I'm like, okay, back in the day when people used to buy albums. Yeah, they would make like the tens and the millions back in the day. What was Beyonce, what was Beyonce in the choir? She was a soprano? No. An alto? No. Was she a bass? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what any of that is. What what's the answer? Soloist? Oh, I'm I'm thinking of <laughs> That's a stupid fucking answer because there's so many different titles you can be in choir. A soloist. But that doesn't... Okay, there's so many soloists in choir. Are you a soprano? Are you an alto? Are you a bass? Like, what what the fuck does that mean? Teach me that right now. At the end of the... I'm going to teach me what's a a soprano. Um, I'm going to mix it up. I haven't done choir in such a long time. Teach me. I never did choir. What am I? What am I? Uh, 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 uh. What am I? What am I? You're an alto. I'm an alto? An alto is medium. Bass is... I was a bass. Oh. I'm a... Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what's the... Uh, what's the high one? That's soprano. So I'm an alto. Mm-hmm. Is that like I believe. Con- is that I, like, might have, I might have switched them around. I was a bass girl. I didn't give a shit about everyone else. Is that like country music? Oh, yeah. You were just in the background going... I was just... Oh. Oh. <laughs> and so is Christmas all <laughs> around us. Yeah. That was me. <laughs> But it was funny because I was when I was in when I was in theater I was a main character, mm-hmm. but then I was singing my main character role, and then I would have to go back and start singing the bass for the like all the ensemble pieces. Oh my God. And so sometimes the mic wouldn't catch it on time, so I would sing my solo, and then you hear me go oh. <laughs> And so people's eyes were like, we heard that. <laughs> you hit that low as no one was like, whoa. <laughs> I was like, oops, sorry. I like that you know the technical <laughs> terms. I never knew that stuff, ever. What do you mean? I just like sing. Oh, I mean, I did theater. I was like, well, I mean, I stopped doing any kind of like theater stuff after elementary school. Soprano, alto, and then there's a tenor. You're a tenor. You're a tenor. What's a tenor? You know what a tenor. Oh, I girl. Do. Let me tell you about tenors. What's a tenor? <laughs> oh, girl. You don't know tenors? Oh, let me tell you about tenors. What's a tenor? No. Um, yeah, this is soprano, alto, tenors, I believe. Okay. So alto is a high voice. A low boy's voice is a tenor. It's a medium voice. What's a medium voice? You're a tenor. Say, sing it again. Ah. Uh. <laughs> no, I do. I do country. Uh, music. Say it, sing it again. No, I don't go. I don't sing like that. I sing. I sing like around this this tempo. <laughs> You're a tenor. You could be a bass. You're swinging between a tenor and a bass. They'll probably put you as a tenor, though. I got. They'll probably put you as a bass. If you can go, the problem is with choirs, there's not that many basses. There's not that many basses in choirs, so they'll always try. If you can sing low, they'll put you in bass because okay. they need it. Yeah. So I've, you'll probably be a you bass. You know what that's called? Range. Yeah. Period. Verse. My my throat is verse. <laughs> anyway. Wow. We're going to wow. find you, Mac. People can find me. If you search Mac Does It, that is S M I R N O F F. S M I R N O F F. We're going to find you, Mike. You can find me everywhere if you search at Mike MGTV or if you go fuck yourself. And shout out to the person in front of my face for last week's word of the week, which was, wasn't it Oreo? It was somewhere around here. Yeah, it's right in front of me. Wow, wow, yummy, yummy. Uh, you also find this podcast on every Messy Pod. It's M E S S Y P O D. Instagram, Twitter. You can also email us at messypod.gmail.com. Your hookups, your what the fucks, your gay agendas. Uh, good hookups. Girl. Uh, <laughs> and this openings, too. <laughs> and opening. Welcome to Messy with Mac and Mike. It's Mac and Mike on Messy. Yeah. Um, but, anyways, you've been douched. We don't say that anymore. We, we do. haven't said you've been douche in like a few episodes. Have we not? I think we haven't. Hold we just on. say like bye. Can I actually? Can we, can we sing that again? That was actually really good. Do it again. Count us in. <laughs> Three, two, one. Welcome, Welcome to Messy with, with Mac, Mac and Mike. Mike. It's Mac, Mac and Mike on Messy. Messy. Yeah. Ow. Oh, okay, bitch. <laughs> Come on, whoever makes those openings, get it to work. <laughs> Later, sis. You've been douche. <laughs>